The Clemson Cupcake Tour continues. Can they cover another huge number again this week? We'll find out in just a second. But first, I want to talk to you about a special at Wager Talk the rest of this week and this week only. College football, rest of the season, just $2.99. Um, using coupon code CFB299, you can use it for the rest of my college football plays. If you like Maction, that's one of the conferences that I am tuned into that I play the most. Uh, if you've noticed, most of my plays come from the ACC and the MAC. Um, so if you like those midweek MAC games, I'm going to have a ton of them. I just cashed a 5% max bet winner with the Ohio Bobcats on the money line last week. Back to back winning weeks in college football. I feel like I'm just hitting my stride uh, on the college gridiron for the year. And you can get the rest of my plays using coupon code CFB299 all week long at Wager Talk. All right. This one's probably not going to make my client card, but you know what? These video plays have been awesome. Uh, another winning week last week. Uh, we lost with with Wake Forest plus 21, uh, but we won the over in that Clemson-Wake Forest game. And then we hit another total uh, on the NFL video. So the, the YouTube video plays have been really good, and I hope to continue that this week. I'm not sure if Virginia is going to make my client card, but I am going to make a case for them to cover against Clemson. And I would not be surprised if this line continues to, to, to move uh, in Clemson's favor. I could see Clemson taking money in this sort of setup, similar to the way they took money against Stanford. Uh, that steamed all the way up to 24 uh, from like 20 or, or 21 uh, when Clemson played Stanford a couple of weeks ago. I would not be surprised if the later this later in the week, you actually ended up, with a better number on Virginia. But I, I think a good, you know, just for argument's sake, I think a reasonable point to buy in would be getting the three touchdowns with Virginia. So listen, Clemson, no, no team in the country. They're, they're top three, I believe right now. Um, after last week, they might be number one, uh, but they cover margin in the first half. Clemson, you know, well at the top of the of, of the list in terms of point margin in the first half of games this year. And that includes the Georgia game where they got blown out first week into the season. The reason for that is it's been cupcake city for Clemson since. They've been huge favorites at every game, and they've blown out all of these inferior teams. App State, Stanford, Florida State, you know, that was one that was a little bit closer. Depending on what number you got, you either got a win or a loss with Clemson. Last week, just destroy Wake Forest. Um, but really, I mean, this is, you know, you go to that Georgia game week one. It, it's really just been inferior opponent after inferior opponent ever since. So they're now they're five and one with five straight wins, but they've really hammered some bad teams. Virginia's not that bad. You know, I look at this Virginia team and, and I, I don't, I don't think that they, you know, are as I don't think they're a Stanford. I don't think they're an app state. They don't have as many issues as NC state. They beat wake forest. And, and I think at this point in the season, Virginia is much better than wake forest. You know, I look at Virginia, I see a team that's four and two that played one bad half of football against Maryland and lost a hard fought game last week to Louisville. That's not wake forest in my opinion. Yet these two teams now granted that game last week was at wake forest it's priced pretty similar. You know, now it's, it's a 20, you know, you're, you're still looking at a 21 point spread. Uh, Clemson is home here, but I've been to Clemson for a noon kickoff. I, I talked to a bunch of people at a Clemson tailgate. They hate the noon kickoffs. The fans always talk about, you know, how sleepy that stadium is in the first half of, of a noon kickoff. They don't like playing the noon games. Uh, these, these are the fans, not, not so much the players, but the crowd just doesn't have the same energy. I went down for Clemson Syracuse a couple of years ago. It was a noon kick. Both teams ranked and the crowd was asleep till the middle of the third quarter. And you know, that might not seem like a huge deal, but that's a big deal when you're talking about needing to cover a three touchdown spread, which is what Clemson's being asked to do here. The other thing is they've had big leads at halftime in every one of these games this year, pretty much like all of these, these five wins Clemson's had a, a big lead at halftime. And they've given up a lot of points in garbage time. Now, garbage time is fine when you're dealing with like inept offenses that can't move the ball, that that aren't a huge threat to score and, and backdoor. But that's not Virginia. 
you know, this Virginia offense has a really good quarterback in Anthony Calandria. They run the ball, you know, serviceable in the running department. They've got receivers that can make plays. This is not a bad Virginia offense by any means. And, you know, if it comes to that, which I'm not even saying it's going to come to that, but if it comes to Clemson getting a three touchdown lead, a 24 point lead, even a four touchdown lead here, you certainly can't write Virginia off being able to move the ball, especially if Clemson sort of goes to that zone coverage, you know, that, that Calandria will pick that apart. He's super mobile. He moves around. He, he's, he's sort of great in that regard. So I think that there's avenues to victory a couple of ways. I don't think it's impossible that Virginia hangs in this game. But if they are sort of out of it, if they do fall down three scores, four scores, I think the back door is probably wide open here based on Calandria's ability to make plays and Virginia's offense being, you know, just a, a little bit better than some of these offenses like Wake Forest, um, App State, NC State that dug themselves big holes and, and really couldn't, you know, couldn't take advantage of that soft Clemson defense once it gets to like the garbage time por portion of the game, backups in, so on and so, so forth. You know, the one game this really reminds me of is that Stanford game. And I would say the one quarterback that's similar to Calandria is Ashton Daniels. And he got hurt toward the end of the, the third quarter in that game. Now, Stanford, it was the same. It was a similar number. I think it opened, you know, it was it was at 21 for a lot of the week. I think it actually went off 24, Stanford plus 24. They were They were covering pretty much the entire time Daniels was still in the game. When Daniels went out and the backup came in for the fourth quarter, Stanford really couldn't move the ball. Clemson added a couple more scores and I believe ended up winning that game something like 40 to 14. But Stanford was really covering the, you know, the three quarters leading up to that. And again, I would take, I would argue that Virginia's offense with Calandria is better than Stanford's offense and better than the Wake Forest offense that Clemson saw last week all roughly the same, like three touchdown underdogs. So comparatively, you know, Clemson covered against Stanford. They covered against Wake Forest, but Virginia is being priced similar. And, and I have Virginia a cut above those two teams. You know, Virginia has lapses at defense at times. I think this is a better defense, certainly a better defense than Wake Forest. Um, I don't think that there's even a question there. You know, especially if you watch that Louisville game last week. I know Wake Forest and Virginia got into a little bit of a shootout earlier this year with each other, but Virginia's defense right now is far better than the Wake Forest defense that um that that Clemson faced last week, in my opinion. So when I add all of that up, I think it's going to be really difficult for Clemson to pull away and win this one by more than three touchdowns. And as it stands right now, Virginia's a 21 point underdog, which is is doable. I think you're actually going to probably start to see 21 and a half, a lot of places by the time this video gets posted. So I'm going to kind of call it there. Cause I think that's going to be widely available. Um, when this video is posted, we'll say Virginia plus 21 and a half. I wouldn't be at all surprised if this ends up higher, uh, 22, 23 at points during the week. If it gets high enough, I might have to jump in for a client play, but at the very least, I think this is one that I have a strong opinion on that might just miss my card. Uh, Virginia is going to hang around in this game. Uh, I'll be thinking long and hard about adding it to my client card, but for the sake of our college football videos that have been red hot, you know, I think we're, we're something like seven and two, the last nine of these, these, these have been on a really good roll. We'll call it Virginia plus 21 and a half. Give me a like, subscribe to the Wager Talk YouTube channel so we can keep bringing you these free pick videos and go check out that special. I also have a great college basketball special. Coupon code TRIGCBB, T-R-I-G-C-B-B. It gets you my college hoops uh, full season at an insane discount this year. I'm up 50 units in college basketball across the last two seasons, and I look forward to doing it again this year. I, you can find me at Adam Trigger WT across all platforms. And we'll see you guys again for another free pick video here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel.